Hey everybody, my name is Amitabha Metta Love, and I just want to share with you this evening, this night, this now, and tell you what I've just done. I have rebirthed myself as about 20 minutes, as from about 20 minutes ago. I have reclaimed my life. I was having awful, awful anxiety. Can't even describe to you what I've been going through for the past three weeks and more over the last couple of years, but really acutely over the last three weeks. But I've taken my life back. Years ago, I was just a victim. I blamed everybody for my problems. I didn't take care of myself. I didn't eat healthy. And I discovered Anthony Robbins and I started listening to Anthony Robbins and he, t he teaches that we should have an hour of power every day or at least 30 minutes to thrive or at very least 15 minutes of thankfulness where we use gratitude and exercise to put ourselves into an optimal state, get our bodies moving and sweating so that you can be the best you possible, having a positive mental attitude and tonight, I just went for a run. I don't know how long it was, but probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe. I went around a big city block some way, it'd been longer. And I feel so good right now that I'm going to do this every day for the rest of my life. I'm going to go running around at least a big city, a big city block every day. I'm going to do it in the morning. I used to do this. I used to get up at like 7 in the morning. And I feel good. I feel really good. I feel like I have hope again. I was losing my hope, you know? I, I mean, I even almost slowed down the meditation. I, I was having a hard time meditating. I was having so much pain in my chest, pressure in my chest. And it all comes, comes down to, you know, even though I eat a vegan diet and I'm, I eat healthy, um... The body needs to move. The body needs to exercise. You can't just stand and sit all day long. The body has to work. And I haven't been doing that for years. I remember years ago when I had a couriering job, I would run from bank to bank um, with the checks. But I stopped doing that. I, I, I got a job working from home. And what's happened since I got this job working from home? I love it. It's great, but I haven't been exercising. You know, I've, I got a treadmill. It's like a walking treadmill, and it's better, but it's not the same as going out and running for 20 minutes. I'm dripping, pouring sweat, and I can feel such a difference in my mind. I'll tell you what I did through this run. I used Anthony Robbins' method of incantations. I'm going to train my mind. I'm already done it. It's already over. The anxiety is done. It's gone. I know it. There's no doubt. It's gone. All I have to do is eat enough food and exercise every day and then train my mind using incantations. So as I ran this entire way, I said to myself, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Every day in every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger. Every day in every way, I'm getting healthier and healthier. And I repeated this again and again, over and over, until I was done the run. And then when I was done, of course I was out of breath, but I sat down on the grass, touching the earth with my hands, and then I let my body cool down. You know, you have to cool down. I, you know, I was breathing quite heavily. And then I did metta, and I just stared ahead. I focused on my breathing. It said, may I be safe and happy. May all beings be safe and happy. And this practice, this exercise, mixed with spiritual practice. You know, the thing is, if we don't exercise, the spiritual practice can only get you so far. Because what good is life if you have anxiety? What good is life if you're out of shape and you die at a young age from cancer or heart disease, diabetes, whatever? Or a stroke. What good is it 
if you if you have this spiritual life and yet you don't take care of the body. Now I know for sure that this anxiety was coming from not taking care of my body and not exercising enough. Now I tried to do the P90X and I had to stop because it's too intense. It's a little too intense for me right now. I might try it again later on, but it's a little too intense. So I stopped exercising altogether. Do a little bit of yoga, but it's not good enough. Yoga is not good enough. You need to have some sort of type of cardio exercise where you you get your body and your 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 heart rate and your blood flow and your breathing pumped up every single day. So I'm going to do this every single day, and I just want to share this moment with you because I know I'm reborn again. I know that I'm not going back to what I you know even. Yet I, I cried today again. I had the chest pain. It's so hard having having a life and having chest pain. But as you can tell, I feel so confident right now. I feel so good. I know that's not going to happen again. All I need to do. The, the reason why I was probably having chest pain is because my, my, like, when you have anxiety, you hyperventilate. When you have panic attacks, and I've had many, um, you hyperventilate. Your body is trying to take deep breaths. It won't stop. It's probably because I haven't been taking any deep breaths in my life. My body needs to detoxify and it needs to move my chi and get everything flowing, but I wasn't doing it. So I'm going to do it every day from now on. This is what I did before and I changed my life. I'm going to change it again. You know, I, I haven't gone back to where I was, but in some ways I went to a worse place because now I had this anxiety to deal with. You know, I knew what the things to do, but anxiety will cripple you. It takes away all your goodness. It steals your insecurity. It makes you totally suspicious, paranoid, and fearful. And that's not who I am. That's not who I want to be. And that's not who I'm going to be. So from now on, I'm going to do this exercise every single day to take care of my body and my mind. Because the body and the mind are connected. You can't have one be healthy and the other one be unhealthy. Because then it'll make the one that's healthy unhealthy. And... Likewise, you can start somewhere. You know, work with the mind, but you got to work with the body too. I know so many beautiful people, like me. I'm a beautiful person. I know so many others that are so beautiful, and yet the health goes down the tubes, and then it affects the mental state. Can't do it, and it's not happening anymore. So thank you so much for witnessing this. Just wanted to share it with you. Um, and and let me know if if, if you want to do this with me. You know, go for a jog every day, maybe maybe 15 minutes twice a day, 20 minutes once a day, half an hour once a day, whatever, and let me know how you feel. So I love you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.